Hello, good people of the world. My name is Kristana. If you are new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. Today I am going to be repainting and redoing a piece that you guys may have seen before. I no longer need this piece and one of my clients, if you remember the toolbox, so this toolbox right here, we had made a faux toolbox, age toolbox look for her son and we also did the little Volkswagen bug nightstand as well. So for her spare bedroom, she wants a travel theme. I wanted to take some brown paper and recycle it and make this look like faux leather. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but if you guys wanna see that, stay here. This piece had a trim around the drawer, so I'm gonna remove that really quick because it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to put the brown paper on there to get that faux leather textured look. So I'm just taking a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and I'm gonna gently go underneath it and try to pull that trim off. I had brown packing paper and I thought this would be really cool to add texture. I'm not the first person to do it. There are other people who have done it. So what I did is I took the brown packing paper and I crumpled it up into a ball and then I got it wet and then I wrung out all the extra water out of it. Then what I did is I took Pure Eco's semi-gloss sealer and I put, it, I put it all over the front of this drawer. And now I'm taking that brown packing paper that is wet, that has been crumpled, and it's gonna be in pieces. So I'm going to take it in pieces, I'm gonna layer it over top and smooth it out with my gloves, make sure I get any air bubbles out. And this is going to, with it being wet, it's going to allow it, because it is a thicker paper, it's gonna allow it to sit flat and I'll be able to crease it on the edges. Once I have that down, I am gonna go over everything again with another layer of the sealer and I'm gonna just kind of rub it in and smooth it out with my gloves to make sure I do get any air bubbles out and then I'm going to concentrate on creasing all of the edges as well because later on it's gonna make it easier to sand off those edges and I'll show you that later. I did this with all four of the drawers. It's gonna give it a cool texture and maybe like a faux leather look. Once it's completely dry, what I did is I took 120 grit sandpaper and I'm going over the edges and you're gonna sand on that edge and then you'll be able to pull that paper off. Now, some of it did stick and I'll just take a sand sandpaper later and get that off. But it's an easy way to get your paper off when you're decoupaging or you're doing something like this. So again, I'm taking the sandpaper and I am going on the edges and then I'm just pulling that paper off and you get a nice, clean, crisp edge. Make sure it is fully dry. Let's backtrack a little bit because when I sanded those drawers, it had been sitting there for a day and I had already painted it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to clean this entire piece and then I'm gonna scuff sand it. Because it was painted before, I wanna make sure that I give it a good surface for this Purico paint. I am going to use Purico's stain blocker and primer because we're gonna be using their silk line and their Purico silk line is an all-in-one. And so we're going to do a blocker. We're going to do two coats of the blocker on the entire piece. Mm -hmm. 
The next thing I did was paint the entire piece with sugar cane, which is through their silk line. And the reason why I use this is because I want this to kind of have a linen look. So I am going to make this look like luggage and I want the top and the drawers to have texture, kind of look like leather, faux leather. And I want the sides to look like linen because I want to bring in all the different kinds of luggages that I've seen. So I am taking a brush by Ben Zizzer and I'll put this in the description below. This is just a smoothing brush when you're wallpapering. And when it's still wet, I am going to go over it vertically and horizontal to create some lines that look like linen. I did this to the entire piece. And once that was dry, I took a darker brown and this color is called Fawn. And I took a wet paintbrush and I went over the piece. Now you can see that the paint is kind of like a wash on here. And that is for a reason. I don't want it to be super thick over top of it because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that brush again and I'm gonna work that brush actually a little bit more over this. So I'm gonna smooth out the, the paint so that there's no drips. And then I'm gonna take that wallpaper brush, the smoothing brush, and I am going to go horizontal and I'm gonna go vertical and I'm going to kind of just go back and forth faster than I typically would on the first layer so that I can kind of push these colors around and make it look like there's different dimensions on here. And that way we have the dark brown over that, but it's not super bright. And what it's gonna do is it's going to make it look really nice like a linen after we are done. I want each drawer to be a different color, but again, I want it to look like faux leather and I want it to have that texture. So the first color we're gonna do is denim. And I'm not putting full coats on this. I'm just going to kind of skim over it and I want some of that brown to show through just to add a little bit more dimension. So we did denim and then the next drawer I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use chino and I'm gonna put that on there. It's kind of like a gray. And then the next color that I'm gonna use is more of a white tone. And that one is called macadamia, which is like a, a warm white. My client also really likes blues and so the last color we're going to use is lagoon which is kind of like a, a earthy teal color and then that will have each drawer a different color and then we're going to make them look like suitcases. Pure Eco Silk Finish Line is an all-in-one so you don't need to seal these and I'm going to go in with their glaze and stain and the name of it is Sable. That is also self-sealing. You can seal it if you want to, but you don't have to. What I'm doing, I did the top of this the same way that I did the front of the drawers, but I'm gonna go in with sable because I want it to be a little bit darker so that it looks like a darker leather. And I'm just gonna go over it and put a layer on there and it's gonna darken it up and make it look even more like leather. I went on Amazon and I ordered replacement luggage handles or I did vintage luggage handles and that is what I'm putting on here. So I'm putting this on here because like I want to kind of see if this is going to fit the vibe that I want and it did. So now I'm going to start designing each drawer to make it look like different luggage that I've seen. And so I'm going to do, I'm going to take my T-square, I'm going to mark off a stripe on the side, I'm going to tape it off and then I'm going to paint it white because I want this to look vintage. So each drawer has a special look on it.
Okay, everybody, this video is done. This piece is done. Here it is. There's Canon. Canon. Canon says. <laughs> Canon says. Canon says. Let's go on a voyage. Was that corny? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Happy creating, and I will see you next video, huh? Next video. Boop, boop, boop. All right, bye. Bye, guys.